father was one of them and what did he pass down wisdom something you would rather call common sense and the second thing physical strength oh I mean hard labor because at his death we had to travel home to convey the message your brother is dead can never be my generation my generation with a day bed we say president Tinubu don't die I mean even before it's his time no, not when Mr. Nadi had to wake up and dress and visit Mr. Anastasia's father to discuss the marriage between his son, Mr. Richards, and his daughter. No, today Benita met her husband on Instagram while Kelvin just styled the knot with the love of his life whom he had stalked on Facebook. But before we begin to judge that generation all lame and a cake, that same generation were sold. And today, our very own siblings brag as black Americans. So as the evolution continues, the question is, what are you passing down? What would you be called a hero for? Don't you think it's an abomination to hand down the same thing over and over? Hard labor from generation to generation. This brings the real question. What different thing are you passing down? Lend me your ears as I had read you a story, obviously for free. A perfect example is our very own Honorable Richards and Nadi. I'd better off describe him with the phrase, see the impossible. Because to make a change or change an old trend, you need an ear funny but consistent drive. And there, this young man picked the drive of changing the usual study graduates and joined the 10 years of experience queue. And so walking by the market one day, he thought, I could actually put together all these people, network them and help them earn from each other. So with dreams, aspirations, visions with no office, no website, and not even a vehicle to move from place to place. But these men were set and determined to win. And so kill fear, kill doubt, just like motivational speakers, they reached for their dreams. Always dressed like what they dream for. Always ready for what they dream for. Sometimes on foot, enjoying the scorching sun, they set the expectations of a hundred no's per day. And today, with your support, they have this event. Um, we've been talking about the vision, the vision, but allow me to talk you through decentralized technology. It is the vast and the next internet, the next phase of internet for the next generation. And it holds vast promises for everyone who wants to make a difference. It holds a very big promise for everyone. In the past, we had the internet of information. And so when I send you a PowerPoint or a picture, I'm not sending you the original, I'm sending you a copy. And yes, it's fine until it comes to assets like money or intellectual properties, then you're going to say, not just the Gen Zs, but the alpha generation knows the original. You know, in my country, you hear the president is given, the governor is given, the shell total or the NMPCs are given, yet nothing gets to you. Even when it gets to you from government, it takes months or years and that's after social inequality has been regarded and respected. It takes, it takes um, um, seconds for an email to go around the world. But it takes months and it takes years before you get one promise 
from the governors and from the presidents. And so this SWIFT trip is the big technology. SWIFT trip is here to stay. SWIFT trip is the dream. SWIFT trip is my dream. Becoming an international woman from the international businesswoman from the comfort of my home. I'm actually proud of choosing my mother town from the prestigious University of Port Harcourt to change in lives. I may not be in the oil industry, but through Swift Trip, I'll be tasting oil money. I may know nothing about driving, but through Swift Trip, I'll be providing job opportunities for drivers. Is it the fact that I can shop from the comfort of my home? Or that on emergencies, one trip is enough to save your pregnant wife or my loved ones? Um, I would not leave the stage without talking about the father of decentralization. You do not believe that Swift Trip is, dream, is a dream. You don't believe Swift Trip and you don't believe the power of volume. Just like the Sadducees and the Pharisees could not believe that the coming and death of a naive looking son could con open, and co open a connection between us and God. But today, my prayer and your prayer is being answered at the same time. That is what Swift Trip is here to do. A decentralized company that will be paying everyone from you to your child to your next generation. Join Swift Trip. Do not miss Swift Trip. I repeat, do not miss Swift Trip. And for yourselves and your generations after. Thank you.